A quotient group is a collection of cosets. Cosets which are obtained when we consider a normal subgroup. In other words, cosets which are both left and right cosets. Let's begin from the bottom of this chain. Let's take the group of all integers modulo 12 and a subgroup of Z12 containing 0, 3, 6 and 9. The group Z12 is a group under addition. So the idea here is to take numbers from the group Z12 and add these numbers to the subgroup H. And we keep doing this until we obtain all the elements in Z12. Let's first choose the number 0 in Z12 and add it to the subgroup H. We end up getting this set. Let's choose the number 1 from Z12 and add it to the subgroup H. We end up getting this set. Let's choose the number 2 from the group Z12 and add it to H. We end up getting this set. If we now observe the numbers obtained in these three sets, we'll find that we've actually obtained all the numbers of Z12. And that's it, we stop here. And we say that these three sets are left cosets of the subgroup H of Z12. Why left? because we have added these three numbers to the left of the subgroup H. If we add these numbers to the right of the subgroup H, we end up getting what we called the right cosets of the subgroup H of Z12. If we compare the numbers obtained in both these sets, we'll find that the left cosets and right cosets are exactly equal. And according to definition, a subgroup of a group is said to be a normal subgroup if all the left cosets and right cosets of that subgroup are equal. So for this example, the subgroup H of the group Z12 is a normal subgroup of Z12. Let's take an abelian group G under multiplication and a subgroup H of the group G. The idea here is to take numbers from the group G and multiply those numbers by H. If we take the element i from the group G and multiply it with the numbers in H, we end up getting this set. If we take the number 1 from the group G and multiply it with the numbers in the subgroup H, we get this set. If we observe the values obtained in these two sets, we'll find that we've actually obtained all the values of the group G. And that's it, we stop here. And we said that these two sets are left cosets of the subgroup H of the group G. Left coset because we have multiplied i and 1 to the left of the subgroup H. If we multiply i and 1 to the right of the subgroup H, we end up getting right cosets of the subgroup H of G. If we compare the elements obtained in the right and left cosets, we find that they are exactly equal, which means that the left coset and right cosets coincide. And so by the definition of normal subgroup, the subgroup H is a normal subgroup of the group G. These two examples lead us to the famous result of normal subgroups which states that every subgroup of an abelian group is a normal subgroup. Let's take the symmetric group S4 and a subgroup H containing four different elements of S4. Let's take the permutation 1, 3 from S4 and multiply it to the left of the subgroup H. We end up getting these permutations. If we multiply 1, 3 to the right of H, we end up getting these permutations. If we compare these two sets, we find that they are not identical, which means that the left coset is not equal to right coset. And so the subgroup H of S4 is not a normal subgroup of S4. So what have we learned so far? When we have a normal subgroup, the cosets obtained are both left and right cosets. If we pack all these cosets into a set, we get another group. We call this a quotient group or a factor group. Let's take a look at a few examples. In our first example, these were the three different cosets obtained of the subgroup H of Z12. A quotient group is simply a collection of all the cosets of a subgroup. Since these are the three different cosets of the subgroup H, so the quotient group of Z12 by H contains exactly these three cosets. In our second example, we found that these two sets are the cosets of the subgroup H of the group G. 
since a quotient group is simply a collection of all the cosets of a subgroup so the quotient groups of the group g by h contains exactly these two cosets